All right, this is video two for the object manipulation nodes. In this one, we're going to discuss accumulators. Uh, oftentimes, a robot wants to be able to collect multiple objects at one time. And this is going to require a specific type of manipulator called an accumulator. Uh, it's simply a, a mechanism designed to pick up a large number of similarly shaped objects. To do this, we need something called a magazine. Uh, the magazine basically is something that's going to provide the, the storage for all of these. So um, a lot of times you want your magazine to store objects in a single file. And what you can do is you can get creative with the path. Notice that in in this one right here, we're kind of limited. You know, this it looks like this one can only hold three game objects, while this one could hold several. And if we look at it, you know, from here to here, it looks like they're pretty close to the same height. So by getting creative with the shape of the path, we can hold a lot more objects. The next type is a conveyor belt. And with a conveyor belt, we have two types. Um, we have the indexing and the non-indexing. Now the conveyor belt is a type of magazine because we see that the objects are going to be uh, held in a single line. But um, we do have these two different types. So this first type right here, this one right here is the indexing. Um, the indexing, the belt will only run when you're trying to pick up an object. So with the indexing conveyor belt, uh, you save power because the belt's not running continuously. You only turn it on when you need it. But with it, you have to be careful. Uh, it takes a lot more driver skill. You know, if you need to have space between your objects, you have to account for that. The other type over here is the non-indexing. We can see uh, what kind of separates them is this stopper right here at the top. So as uh, the ball comes to the top or wherever the game object, it stops, but the belt can continue to pick up more and more objects, collecting them. So this belt will run continuously. So this one does not require as much driver skill to operate. Um, but you have more likelihood of the objects jamming. So you have to be careful with the non-indexing system. But you have to be careful with the indexing system as well. So it, it really depends on what you uh, what your goals are. Uh, how do you want to use your conveyor belt? The next type is a hopper. And this one's pretty simple. Um, it's not like a magazine, because in a magazine, the objects are held in a single line. In a hopper, you're just it's a dump bed. You're just tossing in objects that you can dump out later. Um, so you have to consider you know, how do you get the objects into your hopper. Are you going to use a, uh, an indexing conveyor belt, uh, what are you, you going to do? Uh, the hoppers could be a simple bin like this one right here, or sometimes it's useful to have them as a slanted surface like this, where some intake rollers bring the objects in and then they are held in by those same intake rollers. So it kind of conserves uh, space in your design. 
Right. So when you are designing an accumulator, there are uh, a, a number of things that you want to, you know, keep in mind. Um, first off, ideally, the accumulator intake needs to uh, be geared so that it pulls in objects faster than the drivetrain at the maximum speed. Uh, ideally, twice as fast. The accumulator should be spending twice or twice the speed as the wheels on your robot. Um, some other things you want a wide intake. That way you can pick up um, objects. Uh, you don't have to be as precise with your positioning. Um, think about having you know some sort of. Uh, place where objects, where it kind of, as it moves, it can scoop in objects and funnel them in. Uh, you want to have a means to prevent jamming. Okay, how, how are you going to keep the objects from, if you have like a, a scoop here, how are you going to keep them from, you know, jamming in the intake? You want to prevent that somehow. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you want to have a high speed intake. That way, if you're uh, running at a high speed across the, the, the ground, you can still take in objects easily. You want to be able to uh, have the ability to gather multiple objects. Um, kind of going with uh, a previous one, if you are gathering multiple objects, um, you want to be able to do it without jamming and without slowing down. So this one kind of goes with this one. And finally, you want the, uh, the ability to pick up objects of different sizes. That way you have a very versatile uh, accumulator. All right, uh, this concludes our entire note packet then on object manipulators.